Monday is here again. It's Monday the 25th and uh, we're in the run into the Easter weekend, which means four uh, days holiday uh, this weekend. Um, in the UK, uh, we get uh, Good Friday and Easter Monday off uh, in terms of it being public holidays. So uh, no ability to post out on those dates. Um, now, uh, let's have a look at what we've got going out on uh, Bricklink. And let's pause in a moment because I've already got some feedback, apparently, on an order that I've not even uh, picked or posted yet. But um, uh, it's uh, a little bit un unusual. Um, we've got 12 orders uh, so far on Bricklink. Uh, that's 230 lots, 860 items. Uh, so not a lot of items, um, but um, we've also got uh, six orders going out on uh, uh, Brical, uh, 56 lots, 143 items. And then on eBay, uh, we've got four items going out there as well. So... As is tradition these days, um, we're working on the Sunday to get ahead of the game. So we've got the first batch of orders ready to go for you guys. And um, first up, we've got an Alex minifigure going out on eBay. We've got a goat herder uh, going out on eBay also. And then we get into the parts orders. Uh, we've got a bunch of one by trans brown or black or whatever we call them these days i don't know why we had to change uh, the name um more minifig parts going out there and a couple of people this weekend that these are two orders that did it where they placed an order and then came back to me afterwards asking to add other items and um it's always a little bit tricky uh, the best way to approach it sometimes i'll ask them to place another order and then um, refund the postage on that order. In these cases, I just asked them to send me the difference uh, via PayPal and uh, uh, added the parts uh, to the order. We've got a single torso going out there, some Technic stuff, and we've got some plates and bits and pieces, uh, a couple of uh, capes and a few more uh, minifig bits and pieces. This one still need to go and pick up an instruction book for Barracuda Bay, um, which sold for £5.39. So I forgot to bring that downstairs. Got one that's there, I think, 100 and something lots, which I've not picked yet. And then we've got two over here uh, for some minifig type parts and uh, uh, a horse there as well. So I'm going to get these lot uh, packed away and then we'll get on with the second batch and... Uh, Get that lot done and then we can crack on with the rest of our week well i've started on the second batch of orders but run out of time so um i'm gonna get these four packed up and uh i'll do the rest when i get back from the depot and drop them in the post box this afternoon um but we've sold three of these dinosaurs which just shows everything sells eventually um these white dinosaurs i've had for quite some time and then three of them have sold together um, for seven forty nine each, so twenty two forty seven. Um, we've got a Minecraft uh, pillager uh, paper bag going out, and then we've got a couple of parts orders uh, going out as well. Um, still a couple of orders uh, to pick. One from uh, Brick This, uh, which is. Not many lots, but all of them in, in decent quantity. And then I've got another order uh, just under that um, envelope there for the 117 lot order that I've not picked yet. So uh, I'm going to get these packed, dash to the depot, get back, finish the other two orders, and then uh, we'll see what we've got left uh, of the day to do. And... Um, you know what we can get added to the store quick look at the last batch of orders uh for today uh we've got a regular customer here who's uh, placed an order for uh three instruction books all harry potter related 
and these uh, bright light yellow uh, bricks and a couple of other bits and pieces. On eBay, we've got the last of my um, goat herders and a mushroom uh, guy. Uh, this is the order that was 117 lots. Uh, lots and lots of purple and dark pink in there. And then another order for another instruction book and a few parts. And then this is the one that was for Brick This, which is a bunch of parts in uh, in uh, relative bulk. We've got like 800 of those uh, red uh, axles going out, some sand green tiles and white bricks and all sorts of stuff uh, going out there. So uh, we're going to get these packed off, drop them in the drop box at the depot and uh, see if we've got any time left for the rest of the day. Tuesday morning and it's a super quiet morning. Um, we've got one order on Bricklink, uh, which is for eight of these. And that's a grand total of about 62p um, plus post, of course. So um, yeah, really, really quiet. Um, we do have four orders on uh, eBay. Um, we've got a Minecraft polybag going out. An Injago Viper Flyer, uh, um, a collectible uh, minifig going out, and a Harry Potter uh, Professor McGonagall. Um, so, got to get those packed up. Now, you might notice, if I show you, you know, one of my methods uh, with, with drawers, empty drawers, is to leave them out when they're empty. So you can see, I've got an awful lot of drawers available on this uh, set of racking here that um, we really need to get some parts into. So um, I need to try and focus on that um, over the coming days, I think, try and get these uh, filled up again with parts rather than uh, trying to to do more sorting uh, potentially. And um, yeah, see if we can make this look a bit tidier. And in return, that'll mean there'll be more inventory uh, more potential for people to buy um, items, you know, and um, hopefully that will uh, improve sales uh, for the end of the month. So I'm currently sorting out my uh, one by bricks. Um, just need to get some of this stuff added uh, to the store because I'm so depleted. Um, I was trying to stock up on this lot but it's so hard to build up any kind of mass with the amount of uh, bulk sorting that I'm getting through. Now the downside of doing this is it's not really going to get any uh, of these drawers closed up because I store these in uh, not these particular ones but I store them in the larger drawers in bags uh, for uh, these just because they're you know, there's something that you obviously, you know, often end up with tons of colours in, and uh, a bag of uh, each colour I, I find is probably the best way to keep them uh, inside another bag. Now, I, I had hoped um, that with all of these drawers that I'd be able to have uh, drawers for two buys, etc., um, in in used, um, but I've just not got enough. Uh, drawers for, for everything um, so uh, we do what we can uh, now at the moment I'm uh, enjoying sitting here and, and listening to uh, or watching some uh, YouTube videos this is uh, music related uh, good for anyone who's into uh, rock music heavy rock music in particular uh, to, it's a, a channel called Sea of Tranquility and here we've got Martin Popoff who's a a famous uh, rock journalist and uh, they go through all kinds of topics um, you know to do with rock and, and sort of best ofs and best bands and look at it from all different angles which is something I enjoy while I'm sorting but anyway um, time to get back to more of this and get it added to my brick store file um, uh, currently you know been adding some other um, two by bricks uh, to the store and uh, we'll get this lot added to it as well uh, don't know how much value there is but these being common parts help to drive um, other sales you know of other parts in combination with these so they're always good to have in the store
Wednesday the 27th of March and I'd been saying recently how quiet it's been on Brick Owl and um, you know sometimes it, it's weird how things work when you get you know more orders on Brick Owl uh, and nothing on Bricklink and then vice versa and today's kind of one of those days where we've only got two orders on Bricklink um, just five lots for 524 items um, on Brick Owl we've got uh, eight orders for 69 lots and 371 items but what we also often find is that the order value on Brick Owl is um, significantly down in comparison to Bricklink so for instance this eight orders equates to um 36 pounds which is not an awful lot um if we look on brick link however the two orders alone come to 40 pounds so so just the two orders on brick link outweigh the eight orders on brick owl even though um one of them on on brick owl is international as well um now on ebay um we have had a little bit of a run on collectible minifigs so seven figures uh sold and um, i'll show you what those are now and this is also something that i talk about from time to time how you know you might not sell something for a while and then suddenly you you get a little bit of a run of them because you've sold something i'm sure that pushes you up the algorithm on ebay and then you sell a few more so here we go with collectible uh, minifig series 25. We've got a, a dinosaur guy going out. Then we've got another order for a mushroom, a detective and a train. Uh, then we've got a, a mushroom, a train and a dinosaur uh, going out as well. Um, here we've got, I uh, can't remember exactly how many, I think there's about 500, 520 of those going out to a customer. Uh, we've got a minifig head going out and we've got a couple of uh, smallish parts orders and we've got this order which i think this is the one that's going to the states uh, so we need to uh, um, make sure we can get that into the right size uh, package um, then we've got a little uh, plate and a few bits going out and we've got some uh, minifigs going out with um, a fish face from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got a figure from Dreams, a superhero, and a little baby alligator there. And then uh, this order's literally only came in probably 30 minutes ago. Um, and that's a load of bulk, sort of uh, typical bricks and slopes. Um, and uh, we'll get that out as well. So, um, time to get these packed off to the post office. Um, got one of those days again today. We've got, I've got to take my son uh, to pick up a new car. Um, and uh, that's going to take me probably an hour and a half round trip. Uh, so, that's going to eat into today. But uh, we'll see what we can get done after working around that. I'm sure most of you have received this uh, email from Bricklink. Um, it seems like they're having tons of problems with security and people still trying to access other people's accounts, take over accounts, etc. So um, they're using this uh, one time pin and uh, the option to be signed in uh, to use this uh, one time uh, pin that they talk about um and i just think you know we need to be making sure that we are secure in everything that we're doing uh with uh our online presence on on bricklink if you've got uh an easy password that you're using it's time to change it get yourself a decent password manager or something um i personally i use one password and all of my passwords are very lengthy um randomly generated um passwords that you know should be very difficult to to break there's no rhyme or reason to them lots of different characters in them etc um don't use 
Jawblogs123, for instance, and especially if you're using those passwords on other uh, sites as well. Make sure that whatever you're doing on Bricklink and, and all of your other sites, it's good security, you know, to make sure that you've got a unique password for all of your different uh, platforms, sign-ins, etc. Um, even, uh, uh, I know Apple, I, don't, I know that not everybody's using Apple, for instance, but Apple now allow me to use um, um, a, a kind of a, an artificial email address even, uh, which is something that I've started doing on newer sites. I'm not necessarily doing it on, on Bricklink, but I'm certainly doing that on some other sites that I just sign up to um, randomly, and I don't want them to have my email address. That's another thing uh, to possibly consider. But uh, just make sure that you're, you're being safe uh, with your accounts. Um, I just hope, you know, what we what we don't want is we don't want this to lead to another, you know, week-long outage of, of BrickLink because they have to bring the site down due to potential security issues. So let's uh, hope and pray that that doesn't happen. I'm just uploading another uh, file of used items that have been added to the store over the last day or so. Uh, not a huge amount. I've had a few distractions with... Uh, Taking my son for his uh, his car, etc. Um, but we've got uh, two thousand two hundred and sixty one items in three hundred and forty five lots, only about hundred and twenty pounds worth. Um, these are all basic uh, bricks, two buys, one buys, uh, some plates and and things like that, and not in enormous uh, quantities either. Um, now I had I hadn't really realized this before I did it, um, but my inventory had dropped below seven hundred thousand for the first time in a long, long time, and uh, this has just managed to push it back over the seven hundred mark. Um, it has uh, added two hundred and forty-five lots though, which is good, and we're now sat at thirteen thousand six hundred and ninety eight uh, lots uh, so a, a lot to do to get it back up to the kind of 720 730,000 that I had previously and uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to pull that off at the moment with the the pace I'm going with the with the used things I do still have a bunch of the uh, Star Wars um, uh, sets that I, I showed previously to part out uh, so maybe we'll look at, at getting those uh, parted out next just to boost the numbers up and get them in the store before the Easter weekend. I'm upstairs in another room in the house uh, where we've got a lot of the uh, Lego stored that we'd uh, built previously. So all of the uh, modular buildings in the main is pretty much all I've kept so far. Uh, we've got a brick bank up there. Uh, we've got all of these uh, in here and then we've got the Parisian restaurant over here and then up on the top uh, we've got the uh, 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 ferris wheel and the uh, uh, whatever this is called the merry-go-round whatever um, and I'm actually thinking of the best way to get these listed now ideally I'd pull them all out, separate them, lay them somewhere with the box, with the manuals and take pictures. But it's a bit of a faff uh, to be doing that. I don't really have the space to be pulling them out and laying them out to have uh, good pictures taken. Um, I do have all of the boxes flat packed. So we've got a bunch of them over here. So they do all come with boxes. The manuals are all downstairs. So I need to pull those out as well. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to to take uh, pictures of these and, and get them listed. Now, now, in terms of listing, it's probably going to be either on Facebook or on eBay for local collection. I don't want to ship these and have them all break up in transit, etc. So I'm not really interested in, in that. If people wanted to come and collect, that would be fine, of course. Um, and maybe people will, will, you know, be interested in multiples. So I don't know whether to do a multiple listing on Facebook or whether to list them all individually. 
Um, also, i uh, got a couple of trains up here which I need to sort out. Now, these have motors in them. and I don't know whether I'm going to be better off trying to sell them as the trains without the track complete with motors or whether to strip them down because as you probably know the um the battery boxes alone go for about 25 quid and then you've got the train motor as well be worth another 12 or so so it might be worth stripping them down i'm thinking uh we've got a couple of other little bits of sets uh, just tucked up out the way that um need to be uh sorted as well we've got doctor who um which um might be worth uh doing as well as the ghostbusters although i saw these weren't really selling for very much and i, th I thought for the amount they're selling for i might just keep them i don't know um so why why get rid of them well they're just tucked away in this room uh this is where i keep all my instruction books as well um but i'm kind of thinking about making the room more of a music library already got a lot of vinyl in here um which uh i'd like to be able to get at a bit easier and i've got all my uh collection of probably thousands of cds um boxed up uh downstairs um which i'd like to maybe get on the shelves and also i've got a bunch of stuff all uh cassettes and bootleg cassettes and things and and videos and stuff that are in the loft that i'd kind of like to get down and i'm i'm almost contemplating i don't know if this is big enough but i've thought about um you know setting this up as a second sort of study to come up be in the music room pull out a bit of music have a chill uh maybe put a chair in here and, and just have a little bit of a chill away from the the room downstairs because it gets a bit draining being in that same room all day and all night uh, so we'll see how we get on anyway and uh, i'll keep you updated on progress so every once in a while when i want to uh, just fill in uh, an hour's time or something um just sat at the desk then i'll pull up either some mini pigs or in this case a bag of uh, printed parts and um, these can be a pain because they, you know, take a little bit of time to add to the store. Um, but on the plus side, they add, uh, obviously, to the lock count. Almost every one of these will be a new lock, uh, potentially. Um, so I'm going to work through them. I'm going to fire up brick store, work through them and uh, see what I can add uh, to the store in terms of value and in terms of lots and uh, I'll report back. Okay so I've done about as much as I want to do of that uh, bag of printed stuff. Um, ended up with 65 lots, 88 items and uh, just under £16. But as you can see here I've got a haircut in about 45 minutes and i still have to pack um today's orders and i'm going to drop them at the post office after uh, my haircut um only four orders today so things are really quiet um again uh could be um you know just the downward trend um as we always get each each summer we always get um or as we get ahead sort of into spring you know we start to um see things tail off a little bit and um you know head into the quieter months but it also could just be the easter period of course kids are broken up for school people are busy uh preparing for the long easter weekend so even though it's thursday here um i'll be taking a long weekend off because uh in the uk um we have uh, what we call good friday and uh, Easter Monday uh, as public holidays so there's no post and we won't be working uh, those days and um, I very much doubt I'll be sending anything out on Saturday either so a quick look at what we've uh, got going out anyway on eBay we've got this uh, buildable R2D2 uh, set going out and then we've got a colourful little bunch of parts there uh, going out and uh, all parts orders, biggest one uh, being this one, which is about 50 something lots. 
Uh, some uh, minifig stuff in here as well, castle type stuff, castle type parts. Um, there was a lot of um, panels in here, sort of wall panels and things. And I think, you know, castle is becoming uh, a real popular thing um, at the moment with the, uh, the, you know, newer castle sets coming out, either, you know, um, rejuvenating people's interest in, in castle or even bringing new people into that castle uh, style. Uh, and theme so uh, anyway we're going to get these packed up and uh, off in the post and I'm not sure I'm going to have much time for anything else the rest of the uh, the day so a short week uh, we've got another short week next week unfortunately um, that's the way it goes um, but um, we'll get back to it as soon as we can mm -hmm. 